you out there when you're quiet. <laughs> so the beginning of the trail isn't too bad except right at the head where there's a big mud puddle, but that can be dealt with. How do you deal with mud puddles? Well, that will be up to uh, the school board. They have to dis or actually the cross-country coach has to decide what he wants. Because there's so much cover here. Yeah. This is the first mud pit. Don't see that. I should want to do Uh, it gets a little muddy here, and then as we get up a little further, there are more puddles. And here are the puddles. And this area always seems to get pretty wet when it rains. No. And once we turn the corner here, it dries out, and the, the rest of the trail is actually not too bad. We should clip this. This part of the trail is pretty wide and dry, which is good. Coming up, there's a point where it can exit out onto Scotch Road and could go that way, or we could keep it in the woods. Now this is not the place where it exits out onto Scotch Road. The slope at the side of the road is way too steep here, as you can see. We'll go back into the canopy. And they've cut a path here where it could go out to the street or we can continue around this way. The problem with going this way is that the trail dumps out to where the baseball fields are going to be and the way it is currently marked goes right across a pitcher's mound which is probably not ideal for a cross-country trail. And this is as far as we got on the first workday.